Hello and welcome to this uh, video tutorial on uh, financial accounting and some general ledger reports uh, designed to uh, give you better control uh, of your Oracle EBS uh, general ledger. Uh, so let's uh, start by uh, logging into Oracle. Um, here I'm in the Vision Operations uh, USA and uh, I've got uh, a product called Blitz Report, which is using the same uh, form style as Oracle EBS, uh, so it's available on all the menus. Uh, you can also add it into any form to give you a uh, rapid uh, export from forms without having to wait for the hourglass. Anyway, let's uh, have a look at a few reports uh, here. We've got, um, I'll just open the Blitz uh, report. Um, I'm in developer mode, but um, generally you would be in the user mode um, and you would only have the capability to uh, use the reports. They're all assigned and controlled uh, in a standard way using uh, uh, things like uh, responsibility, user, etc. Um, let's just uh, put a filter on here for finance because uh, I'm just interested in a few reports uh, we've got. Uh, starting with the GL uh, balance by account hierarchy. Um, so this is a report that's been developed by the Enginatics uh, development team. Uh, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to have to go back in time because this is quite an old uh, database um, that's running here. So um, if we were to run this report now, um, we can put in uh, obviously the period and we can put in our um, parent totals or indeed we can just uh, drill down to the individual uh, expense elements such as uh, cost of goods, uh, revenue, uh, parent PL. Um, so I'm going to put parent total in here um, and then I'm also going to show the account type. Um, these parameters are very straightforward to add. Um, we're running on actual here but equally you could add in here uh, if you wanted to report just on asset liability, etc. Uh, not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to run this uh, and show you what the output looks like. Um, it's, a, as I mentioned, a report that's developed for a number of our customers uh, and it gives you really uh, effective control over your um, general ledger balances. So you see here, um, we put in June uh, 2007. So it runs up year to date and it pivots uh, the data into individual uh, columns and then here you can filter by type uh, should you wish to do so you know you've got the parent child over here um, and further you can you can select your different uh, either accounts or, or groups uh, totals here um, and then over here we've got the ability to filter by uh, the account type um, so we can run up and just do all our uh, expenses for example um, this will then uh, give you a, well gives you an immediate um, you know total of uh, your expenses here, um, and we'll basically roll up onto the parent. The ledgers over here on the left, uh, and these reports are very easy to adapt and add additional columns. I'll just show you how to do that. Um, so from a user perspective, you would be um, able to change the layout of um, the report. So you do that with something called template um, and you simply can select values and then reorder up and down, etc. Um, very easy to do and then you would save that template and you can share it with uh, colleagues and so on, just like you would with folder technology. So you can move columns uh, to the left uh, if you don't want them to display. Um, you can also send the output to email. They all go through the standard concurrent manager view request. So if you wanted to see any of these reports again, you can simply go to the um, view requests and then print the output from here. The beauty about uh, Blitz report is um, whilst it, it does everything through the standard uh, concurrent programs, you don't actually have to register uh, the individual report. So it, it doesn't have that, uh, you know, long winded uh, development cycle. Version control is on all of the reports. So as they're being developed, um, 
the developer has the ability to record what was changed in the SQL uh, as it migrates through the different test environments. And then over here is the uh, piece of SQL um, that's been developed. Um, and these are all from a, a library within the Nginatix uh, website. So you can share your own queries or you can bring in other queries from other users. Um, it has the ability also, the tool, um, to bring in um, import from uh, tools like BI Publisher. So <clears throat> if there's a report you can't see and you'd like to adapt, you know, you may have got some technical in-house ability in-house, so you can really fast track your development uh, here. So you can bring in um, concurrent programs, Discoverer, BI Publisher, or, or com combination of all of those. Um, in terms of parameters, they're very straightforward to add. So um, to add a new parameter, you simply come in here and double click and then select from either an existing Oracle uh, list of values of which there are, you know, countless number around uh, general ledger. Uh, and it uses uh, all the value sets that you would expect. So that was the um, GL balance by account hierarchy. I'm just going to show you a, a couple more here. Um, so let's just um, click on the torch function, I say it uses all the standard uh, Oracle functionality. And then we've got here some uh, flavors of uh, the same, but these are um, well slightly different uh, in, in the way in which they're constructed. So we'll just run one of these and just show you uh, how, how they uh, fare. So again, I'm gonna go back in time and put my, um, Put, put the period there, I show account, I can show the uh, company. Uh, so you've got the ability to, you know, to put different uh, attributes in here, um, you know, whether or not you would like to see the cost center and so on. Um, you run this again, um, and immediately it goes through the concurrent manager, you see it goes uh, pending running, and then the output is delivered. Um, this one is uh, just giving you a year to date. Um, so it gives you the the starting balance, uh, then the totals, uh, and then obviously by account, uh, which will then give you the ability to uh, work with the data uh, at your leisure. It's all there, very simple to add additional columns. Um, if there's anything you, you don't see here, um, then we could uh, add those uh, to your requirement or, or indeed help you add them. Uh, so again, let's have a look at, um, because uh, I know accountants like to have the detail. Um, so let's just go and have a look at the uh, detail uh, account analysis uh, here. So that one's called the general ledger analysis report. Um, it's again been developed uh, over a period of time. Uh, and again, the parameters are here. Um, the assignments that uh, we can see here, you can, you can include, exclude as you would. Uh, with responsibilities and the like. So let's go ahead and run this one. Um, this is the GL um, account analysis. A again, you've got the uh, picking the period. So we're going to pick uh, the period to start from. Um, we've got obviously the ability to look at posted dates, um, the source. So with this one, we're really going to get into the uh, subledger detail. So you, you really get to see uh, the full account analysis and, and where those postings have come from uh, and indeed what was the the text of the postings um, so this will overlay here um, we've got a again directly into excel uh, period name across from the left um, and, and we've got the category uh, the batch you know coming up in this case it's coming up from payables uh, but you see here we've got assets and so on. So we've got the, the batch naming in there. Um, we've got the journal name as well that it went to um, and the uh, description of those. And then as you go across uh, to the right, you've got the uh, full account description here, um, the departmental codes, uh, and then going across, you've got all the different uh, sub accounts. Uh, currency as you would expect the extended and the uh, the entered uh, rather debit and credit um, and then we've got the accounted uh, amounts over there and then you've got here the full uh, description detail here um, when it was created over here and as we scroll to the right uh, we've got different types of events that have been captured. So pretty much um, everything you would need there, you've got the conversion rates, you've got uh, which particular vendor or customer uh, triggered that transaction. 
and you know it, it goes on. Um, you can review these all. Um, uh, all these spreadsheets are available at the Angelatics uh, website. Um, there's also a blog uh, which this video um, will accompany, accompany um, and that will just really uh, explain to you um, each of these reports individually and what the parameters are. Um, by all means, uh, you can request a demonstration on the Engenetics uh, website, or indeed you can install the free version of uh, Blitz Report. Uh, it, it comes uh, available for uh, using up to 30 reports uh, in the freeware license. Um, out of the box, these reports uh, we think are very useful. Uh, we'd obviously like you, you know, particularly in these times, to evaluate them and see if there's something um, that would really help your business, uh, which I'm sure they would. So that, that concludes uh, this video short. Um, and uh, by all means, uh, have a look at some of the other videos on the Engine Attics, uh, YouTube channel.